All right, Libra. So this is for Libra, sun, moon, or rising. Um, your sun sign is the star sign, whatever sign you figured out by using your date of birth, okay? Your moon and your rising can be found in your birth chart. Um, you can find it super easy for free online if you know your time and place of birth. A lot of people don't know their time of birth, so it's okay. If you can find that out, that'd be even better. But this is meant to reach different people, so take what resonates and leave the rest for the rest. It also could pertain to your past, your present, your potential near future, not only talking about you, but people's situations going on around you, okay? Spiritual strength. Okay, so as I was getting ready for your read, I heard Ascension Journey. And now I'm seeing a card over here that's just really sticking up. Bees. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of bees lately. It means community or dealing with something in your community. And then I cut the deck on spiritual strength. So calling on your guides for spiritual strength and help. This says avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships. So the community card makes a little sense now. Whether it's communication uh harmony within your family within your friendships work environment maybe all of the above okay what are we doing for libra and if only a smidgen of this resonates then make sure you're checking out your other signs as well so you can get the full picture on what's going on for you okay libra fertility an abundance of something. Oh, that wants to come out. So, discontentment and boredom. Authority. 4-4 four, four here. The 4th of the month may have something. April, this month has something maybe to do with it. The waiting game. Is there anything else from this deck? An awareness, a new sense of awareness, some sort of disruption coming to an end. There hasn't been any success in vocalizing something to someone in communication with somebody. But you're maybe wanting to bring harmony back in. And we do have, say, creating harmony within your relationships. Standing your ground in reverse, which means maybe, since I'm putting that under authority, maybe you're uh, confrontational, I heard. intuition spiritual strength okay spirit is trying to lead you to something and spiritual strength i'm gonna go ahead and put this back something you've been waiting for here where else are we going with this spirit okay we're going to go to the sticks because that's what i landed my eyes on also stepping into a position of authority i'm seeing these pillars here too pillar of strength pillar pillar of light something could be seeing mirroring numbers as well, like 242, 424, 444, and 222. Sevens as well. The seventh of the month. What about discontent and boredom? Some of you guys could be just discontent and bored with some of the relationships in your life. Because you feel like they're lacking harmony. I'm sorry, Libra. <clears throat> or you could just be discontent and bored with life right now. The things maybe that used to bring you joy. I see all these colors here aren't bringing you joy anymore. Occupation. Marriage. Marriage was in reverse though. Bad health. Occupation. Marriage. On the bottom of the deck I have lovers in reverse. I honestly don't think I'm supposed to be reading these in reverse. Did you hear that ruckus out there? My cats are going crazy. 420 on the timer. Judication, I'm not sure what that means, but they're in front of a judge, right? So maybe you don't believe in marriage. Maybe you feel like you were divorced before you were married, if that makes sense. <clears throat> thoughts around this, thoughts around family. Okay, yeah, none of this is supposed to be in reverse, but also we have authority with occupation, marriage with the waiting gain, discontent and boredom. So this could reflect bad health can be physical ailments right making maybe looking up 
a certain physical symptom that you might be having and asking which chakra might be out of balance, okay? Because I do have the, the rainbow colors here. And then the discontent and boredom, this can signify towards mental health as well. I also have the number synchronicity 313 here. And there's seven because 34 in numerology, three plus four is seven. Roots, family tree, roots, laying roots, poverty. I feel like this is the energy crossing you. Could be a relationship, you know, in your marriage and also with your kids or the relationship you had with your parents when you were a kid. What is poverty here? What is that depicting? Thoughts. Thoughts around marriage, thoughts around finances. Maybe you feel like money's tight right now and you're in a really sticky situation, financial constraints. Main man false person in reverse expectation what are they expecting uh, expect unexpected income it's like a positive mindset around money and stuff having a positive mindset and that being said i see this deck so let's see what this career card has for you since we have occupation maybe becoming your own boss in the next few weeks in the next few weeks you be called to sign that contract, okay? Okay, so for some of you, this is both career, job, marriage, okay? Making a commitment, it doesn't even have to be getting married, it could be buying a house together, not necessarily married, moving in together. And then, you know, for others, it's just one or the other. What else does Libra need to know? Anything else in this deck as I glance over here at this other one? So let's go over here. The waiting game. This is something you've been like waiting out for or holding out for. And then for some of you, you could be waiting and holding out on the marriage card. Buckling down, settling down. One, two, three, four here. Eternity. Deeper union with you. So we were saying spiritual strength and ascension path, ascension journey, right? Change me, divine beloved, into one who understands the true meaning of death. Remove my fear of dying. Open my vision to the eternal. May all transitions lead me into ever deepening union with you. So with this bad health too, you could be uh, worrying yourself sick over dying. You could have this, it's, well, it's not crazy, but this all of a sudden fear and these thoughts around that you might, you might, you feel like maybe you're going to die soon or something. But you're not going to, okay? <laughs> not anytime soon. It's an awakening. Oh, yeah. So that's like a lot of awakening around you. Like some people will feel, you know, they'll see all the numbers and the repeating things and things, you know, just the aspect of the stuff that's coming at them. They'll feel like they're going batshit crazy or that they're like oh my god i'm gonna die highest good change me to divine beloved into one who can let you act through me i offer myself to you may i be a conduit for your blessings use me for the highest good your ascension journey is going to open you up it's going to open you up to a new practice i'm noticing the caduceus here too house Pumpkin, abundance, and then also angels opening up to your spiritual source. Your spiritual source is calling for you, reaching a hand out, saying we're here, you know, we're available, we're open for you. I also feel like pulling these cards, so I'm going to put these up here. What else for Libra? Care. Okay, so caring for yourself. If there's something going on with you physically, you might want to try, you know, go get it checked out. I mean, don't... I'm not a medical professional here, but if the ascension thing makes sense or look up, what does it mean to have an awakening? What are the signs that I'm having an awakening? You might want to look those up. 
especially if you think you already know about it. I don't know what that means. Deal, deal with the devil and intention. What's your intentions behind this situation? Making a deal, signing the contract. Okay, heal somebody, help heal your defensiveness in something. Y'all's energy is all over the place, let me tell you though. Cancer energy here, Aries energy, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Jellyfish may be something for you. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. So taking the high road. <clears throat> Um, Virgo had some sort of similar message, I think, about emotions and anger. News of a birth or new business opportunity. So, <laughs> for some of you, maybe you just got married and you're finding out that you're going to have a baby. Congratulations. Others, it's literally the new business opportunity. Broom, new home, new attitude. And I did mention the home in this card, right? There's a home here. There's a home here. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Deceased father, I just heard. Temporary plot pro problems. These are temporary problems. What else can we... Oh, it's the next deck. What else can you let Libra know? <clears throat> problems to be resolved. But they're temporary problems. Or whatever problems you're having, it's needing to be like, this too shall pass. Archway... New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Wow. Some of you guys are going towards a new home, new relationship, new job. This landed over here, so dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. A distant friend. So maybe moving with a, into a household with a distant friend, somebody who lives far away. In need of help and assistance and guidance. So not being afraid to ask reach out and ask for help with whatever it is you're needing help i just heard finances as well and then karma you will reap what you have sown and that landed right over new opportunities paths opening up and possibilities so some good karma coming your way libra some good balance <coughs> Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So these problems are going to be resolved. Since that torch, also with that fire sign energy coming in with the flame here. Anything else in this deck? Whoa, you are highly thought of. What is this card? March. March could have been significant for you. Uh, taking a vacation physically or mentally, like I said, and a position of authority came out again. Being put in a position of authority, upper hand also, there's danger and money matters, so be careful on how you're spending, your, you know, spend wisely. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. There's fox here with tricky energy, so things will not always be this way a change is coming it's not always going to be like this what else can libra know right now financial discipline that and we have the bear with money matters a little bit of self love also the person you're dealing with might need some self love it's dealing with some insecurities Music, your spirit team, your past on loved ones, connect with you through music, send you signs, messages through music. There's a karmic completion coming in. And environment in reverse. So I feel like you're having to change. Your environment's changing. You're leaving. Or, you know, like literally like you're painting, remodeling, or, you know, it's different for everyone. Okay, something around you is changing though teaching and learning each other. As I see this, I look over here to the marriage card, the relationship card, teaching and learning. <clears throat> Big breakthrough at hand, I heard. Look, spirituality, 77. 
and healing over this card that landed over here talking about the fear of death, right? Offering yourself to the divine source. I just heard pleading too. Somebody's pleading. You're fixing to go on an adventure though. Whatever you're going through, like also maybe from physical activity, but looking at something as trying to see it as an adventure. <laughs> What else can Libra know? Again with the hands. Unlimited possibilities. Inner journey. So, yeah. Chakra alignment, okay? Inner journey, if you're feeling a lot of burdens, if you're feeling really riddled with guilt or depression or sadness, you know, I mean, don't hold it against me. You know, if you need to seek assistance don't be afraid to reach out and find professional aid as well <sighs> but there's some burdens maybe and look we have self-love again some burdens needing to be released slow but steady and there's an end to something the death the death the signs of death that doesn't mean physical death there are things you're transcending whatever that means i don't even know what that word means but i heard transcending there's things within your character, within your ego that are shedding away. And you might be getting signs like you almost think that they're literally saying that you're going to die. But only like pieces are shedding and they're dying. Okay. What else does Libra need to know? What's the final outcome for this? What What is it? The good coming back to them? <clears throat> Fertility. Friendships. Feminine power. Woman. The queen. Number four again. Looking up the number four in love, what that means. A focus. Focusing on self-love, okay? Treat yourself like the queen you are. If you're a masculine energy, treat your yourself like a king. And then we have accepting help from another. Yeah, don't, don't be afraid to reach out and ask for assistance. Horse spirit coming through. Ask for extent and finances, yeah. But also the need for financial discipline. You could be coming across a large sum of money as well, Libra, and you're needing maybe a little bit of financial discipline. Also, this could be a situation in the past that you're really beating yourself up about maybe, like, I mean, years ago, I would be bad about going to the casino and I would blow half my paycheck. because I'm like, oh my God, I should not have done that because then by that time, I wouldn't be able to pay like all the bills that needed to be paid, right? There's a significant transformation going on with you. And look, trust your psychic gifts. Trust her that inner knowing, that knowledge that's coming within you, okay? Because you are healing several aspects of yourself. You're healing in the love situation. You're healing around finances. Again, with the nourishment, joy, thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. So this is all I have for you, Libras. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated, if it made sense. Also, make sure you check out some of the other Libra reads or the pick a card on my channel. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated. Love and light.